What's up YouTube? My name is Kenneth. Today we're going to talk about conjugates and it's going to be our second episode of the cube theory series I've been doing. And in the first episode we talked about commutators. Now if you haven't seen it, don't worry. Uh, you don't really need that for this episode, but it definitely helps. So definitely check it out if you haven't already, but you can watch this one first. So today we're talking about conjugates. Now conjugates uh, sound like it's something very confusing, but let me tell you right now, it's not confusing. And really, conjugates are just setup moves. Now, I talk about setup moves a lot, and they're extremely helpful when you're trying to come up with your own algorithms. And it's actually really helpful when you know an algorithm and you need to uh, and apply it in a way to help uh, with your specific problem. So we're going to talk about exactly what a conjugate is. Then we're going. I'm going to show you guys an example of one, and then we're going to try to use it to come up with our own kind of algorithm to do a cube and a cube pattern using just conjugates and commutators. And uh, doing it that way, you don't really have to memorize a really long and confusing algorithm. You can just use algorithms you already know. So hopefully this will be really helpful, and uh, let's get started. So like commutators, conjugates follow a very specific uh, type of algorithm. They, ha they follow a very specific pattern. Each conjugate follows this pattern where first you do a sub algorithm. We're just going to call those setup moves. So first you do a setup move, then you do a main algorithm, and then you undo your setup moves or your sub algorithm. And then what you're doing is you're conjugating your main algorithm with your setup moves. So here's an example of how you can use uh, setup moves to uh, kind of change an algorithm you already know to make it more useful. So if you remember in our last video on commutators, we were able to twist two corners. And uh, that algorithm to do that was basically we would first twist this corner by going right inverted, down, right, down inverted, right inverted, down, right. We twist that corner. Then we put this corner in its place by doing an up inverted. And then we undo the twist and it was right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right. And then we have to undo the twist at the top with an up. And now we've twisted these two corners. So that was our commutator from the last video. Um, and if you had trouble following that, you might want to watch the previous video or you can just use this algorithm and remember it. So what we've done is we've come up with a main algorithm that will twist these two corners. Now maybe you already had another algorithm that can, that can do that, that's fine. But how can we then change this algorithm to make it more useful? Say we want to tw twist this corner and the corner back here. So that's where conjugates come in and that's where setup moves come in. So how would we do that? Let me first put the cube back. So we want to twist this corner and the corner back here. So first you have to come up with a setup move that will put the two corners that you want to twist here and here. So what would our setup move be? We want to twist this one. Uh, well, we could just do a left two, right? And now we can do our main algorithm, which will twist this one and this one, and then we can undo it and put it back. So first let's do it. Let's do our setup move. It's going to be a left two. Now we can do our main algorithm, and that was right inverted, down, right, down inverted, right inverted, down, right. And then we can do an up inverted. And now we undo the, the algorithm, so it's right inverted, uh, down inverted, right down, right inverted, down inverted, right. Then we have to do an up to put it back. And now we've done our main algorithm, now we have to undo our setup move. So we can undo our setup move, and now we have basically uh, changed our main algorithm. So instead of just switching these two pieces, it twists this one and the one back here. So we've just come up with a new algorithm that just uh, kind of changes the main algorithm. So that's what a, a conjugate is, and you can see how useful that is because you can use algorithms you already know, and you can use those to uh, make them more useful. So for our next example, we're gonna start trying to build a cube and a cube pattern. So for a cube and a cube pattern, we wanna twist kind of this two by two in the center, and so these three edges will have to cycle. And cycling these three edges uh, is not all that easy. So how can we cycle those three edges using algorithms we already know? So um, if you know how to cycle three edges, maybe you know the U-perm, and a U-perm will cycle this edge, this edge, and this edge. edge. So let me do it for you. Here's the U-perm, and I only know this algorithm is memorized by my hands, and my brain doesn't remember it, so I can only do it fast, so I apologize if that was quick. 
but I'll put the algorithm on the screen. And so that's what a U-perm is, and it will cycle these three edges, and we can do a U-perm a second time, and it will cycle them again. And then if we do it a third time, it'll put them back. So the blue one will come here, the orange one will go here, and the red one will go over here. So here's the U-perm. So hopefully you guys know what the U-perm is, and uh, you can see how it cycles these three edges. So for a cube and a cube, we don't want to cycle these three edges, but we do want to cycle these three edges. So how can we come up with a setup move, a conjugate, to cycle these three edges? So first we come up with a setup move, and you might come up with, well, if we want to do these three, uh, maybe we would do an equator move and a right, and now we've got them here. So now we can do our uh, U-perm, that might work. Another way to do it is you could go from here, these three, you could do a front and a right. So now our edges are here. And uh, that one is actually a little more helpful because it'll preserve the orientation that we want to use. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh, both ones will work, but let's, let's do this one because we won't have to reorient the edges. So the setup move is going to be front and then right. Now we can do uh, our U-perm. So here's the U-perm. And now we can undo our setup moves. So we can do right inverted, front inverted, and we have cycled these three edges. So we did a good job. We modified the U-perm we already know to instead of cycling these three edges, we now cycle these three edges. So that's really great. Uh, now to like do a cube and a cube, you kind of need to get these centers. You have to switch the centers. And uh, it's a really easy flower pattern algorithm you, you probably already know, and it's actually uh, a commutator. So we can do this equator move, and then I think this is a, a middle inverted, and then now we undo our equator and undo our middle, and there we go. We've now got kind of a cube and a cube and a cube, uh, but obviously this side we haven't kind of rotated these edges. We haven't cycled these edges, so we can give that a try, uh, and so what we can do is we can do a front and a right again, but this time we have to actually uh, do the U-perm in reverse, or you can do it twice because we need them to rotate uh, the opposite direction this time. So let's just do it twice. That way, you know, we're not doing any new algorithms. We're just doing this one algorithm. We can do it again to do it a second time. Now we can undo our setup move. So it's right inverted, front inverted, and there we go. We have a cube and a cube and a cube on both sides. But if our goal was to just do a cube and a cube, we need to rotate this corner and we need to rotate this corner if we want a cube and a cube. And uh, hey, if you've been watching this video, you should know how to do that now. So what we want to do is we want to rotate this one and this one. So we have to use a setup move. We can use the setup move here. And now we can do our algorithm that will twist this, uh, this corner. So it looks like this. And then we can turn this one and undo that twist, which is our commutator. And now we can undo our setup move, left two, and there we go. We've done a cube and a cube, and hopefully we've just used algorithms we already know using conjugates, commutators, and a little bit of intuition. So hopefully doing it this way, you won't have to memorize a really difficult algorithm. You can just use algorithms you already know and uh, using commutators and conjugates. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below what I should do next for my cube theory series. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. And of course, have a great day.